Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krabzy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Dogecoin node. And some of you may be wondering what a Dogecoin node is, and what that does is you're supporting the Dogecoin network by approving transactions, making the network faster, lowering transaction fees, and also just helping the blockchain in general push updates and a few other things. And all you have to do is keep the Dogecoin core wallet running. But I'm going to show you a few details that were left out of some tutorials online for setting up a full Dogecoin node. So this tutorial is going to be for a full Dogecoin node to help support the Dogecoin network. So what you want to do is start by coming over to the Dogecoin website at dogecoin.com. And once you get to the main page here that I'm on, you just want to scroll down a little bit. And you'll see the to choose your wallet section and there's going to be the multi doge or the dogecoin core wallet you want to go for the dogecoin core wallet and then you want to download whichever one for whichever operating system you have i have windows 64 bit so what you want to do is select it and it will download once you get it downloaded you just want to open it up so once you open it up you just click yes to open it up and then you just install it just like any other program here you just click next next and then if you don't want to create shortcuts, you just click that and then you just click install and then you just let it install and I'll just return back once it's done. So once you have it installed and you click it and you run it for the first time, it's going to come up with this screen here and you want to make sure that you have enough space available. You need at least 57 gigabytes of data stored uh, wherever you decide to store the blockchain because that's how big it is because with the Dogecoin core wallet, you're downloading the full blockchain and you're help supporting that. So you can choose the default directory data, which is just uh, your app data roaming slash Dogecoin. And then you can or you can choose a custom one. So if you have like a hard drive hooked up or something, you can select it in there. I'm just going with the default directory and you just click OK. And then you're just going to wait and let it boot up here. And then, yeah, it's going to come up with the firewall. Just allow access. That's just for all the connections and everything. And now he's going to let it load up and I'll come back when it's done. So once you have it opened up, you're going to see this page here and you're going to have like this window come up talking about like syncing the number of blocks and you're going to see the seven years and 39 weeks behind or however long you're behind. What this is doing is it's syncing the blockchain. So before you start like setting up your full node, you have to let it sync. And this can take anywhere from like a day to seven days, depending on your internet connection, because this does take it like a little bit of internet. So, and same with uh, using the Dogecoin node, you want to make sure that you have like more or less unlimited internet, but you can also set a cap in Dogecoin core if you don't have unlimited internet. So if you only want to use like 50 gigs, 10 gigs, 100 gigs, you can set that in the settings here. So once that's all synced up for you, you can go ahead and continue to follow along in this tutorial. Like I said, this has to be done. You can hide this page for now and just see like your actual wallet. But just mind you, you won't be able to actually do anything until this is all synced up. But we're going to go over to my laptop now, which I have like a dedicated old laptop, which I use as my node to support Dogecoin. So we'll go over to that now and I'll show you it fully set up and running and what you have to do. Alright guys, so now as you see, I'm over on my laptop and as you see, I have the Dogecoin core wallet running over here as the full node. And once you get done verifying the blockchain, that bottom bar will disappear and you'll have like the full screen just like this minus the recent transactions and the available amount. Your available will be zero unless you've transferred some already. But anyways, once you get in here, the first thing you want to do is go up to the settings tab. And what I usually do is click encrypt wallet and this allows you to set up your own like password so these become like your coins in your wallet. No one else can do anything about it unless they have your private key. So never share that private key which you will use to set up the encrypted wallet. I know it sounds like a lot but trust me it's simple to click encrypt wallet and just follow the steps there. So for this next step it's really going to depend on your type of router and most modern day routers you'll be able to do it the easy way. When I say modern day routers, most likely like 2013 and up, I personally haven't looked into it, but there's a simple setting that a lot of tutorials leave out on the Dogecoin wallet here. If you go over to the settings and then click options, this window's gonna pop up here and you can check off start Dogecoin on system login if you want, just in case your computer reboots or something. But on these tabs up here, you wanna come over to network. 
and once you're on the network tab this first box here is going to be unchecked and it's for the UPnP settings now like I said you can look up if your router has UPnP settings most modern day routers do but you just want to click on click on that button there and it'll map the port using PNP and this will automatically like board the ports for you and everything because that's just the normal thing that routers have because you need to forward some ports in order to allow incoming connections for people to hook up to you and you supply the blockchain and so on and so forth. But if you can't do it this way and you have an older router, uh, you'll have to go and find your router settings and find the port forward settings for it. And you need to forward the port 22556 in your router settings if this way doesn't work for you. So once you click the map port using PNP button, just give it a restart and make sure it's working. If it doesn't, go and try the port forwarding, look up your router model and look how to port forward. There's usually a setting within your router that's usually distinctly described as port forwarding. And then you'll just board the port 22556 if this UPnP way doesn't work. Sorry if that was confusing, I was trying the best way for you guys there. But yeah, that's that step and that will allow it so you can allow the incoming connections, outgoing connections, everything like that. And if you don't do this, that's all right too, because it will still help support the network. You just more or less won't be like verifying transactions and other things because you can't allow that incoming and outgoing connection. You'll just be supplying the blockchain, which is okay too. If you don't want to do it this way. But once that's done, you just click OK, and then you'll be able to allow the connection to go ahead. Now you may be wondering, like, how do I know if this worked and everything? If you come down here in the bottom right hand corner on like beside the check mark to like these connection points and you hover over as you see mine has 36. If it doesn't work and you need the port forward, you will see just eight active connections. That's how you know that your port forward didn't work or anything like that. So you just hover over and if there's over eight, then you're good to go. I just accidentally clicked on it so it's gonna restart for me unfortunately. So I'm just gonna pause the video and let that restart. So yeah, I'm just going to show you one last thing here to help, like, so you know that you are connected and running your node properly. If you come up to the top left here where the file settings and help is, if you click the help drop down and click debug window, which is the first option on the help drop down, and you'll come over and you'll see information here. And the key thing to look at is number of connections. And as you see mine here, it says out 8 in 1. So you want to make sure that the in connections is over zero because it'll sit at zero. If it just sits at O and eight, that means like the port forward didn't work. So you just gotta let it sit here for a little bit and then I'd say probably for about five or 10 minutes. And if that in number doesn't end up moving at all or like the numbers just don't go up at all, then you'll have to go back and check your port forward settings. And that's how you know everything is up and running for that. And it's gonna show like your number of transactions you're doing and everything. So as you see, my in connection just went up again. So the more you have is better because it's more support for the network. And then if you go over to the top here, you see you have a few different tabs. If you just click on network traffic, you're gonna see all the info, like a little bit of information here of like the received data and the sent data. And the sent data is like the main info for the blockchain. So people are downloading the blockchain off you and things like that. So that's what's taking the most internet. Like I said, you can cap it, so it's at a certain cap. I believe in the settings, it's already set at like, I think like 100 gigs for a day or 10 gigs a day, something like that. You have to check that out. That I just don't mess with because I have unlimited unlimited internet. So it's fine for me for just to leave it and let it go. So what I did, like I said, is just set up an old laptop and got this up and running and going on here. And I just leave the laptop up 24 seven with the Dogecoin wallet up and going and I even used the wallet for myself just to store my coins but yeah I hope this helps you guys and I hope this tutorial you know helps you understand for Dogecoin node or any type of node that maybe you want to help set up for a network but yeah I hope that helped you guys and I hope you all have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out